steps for 20 years. Uh, Captain, first of all, thank you for joining us. When you hear this exchange, and he, first he says he's not there and he's left, and then he says he changes his mind and says, no, I'm here. What do you make of, of his explanation? Well, when I first heard this uh, deposition that he gave uh, on, on what happened, I was shocked. I was amazed that uh, somebody who could be in command would actually leave the vessel like that and, and, and not have situational awareness of what was going on around him. I mean, this captain didn't even know how many people were on board his ship, and we're finding out there was well over 3,000 people. How can you not know that you have 3,000 people on board a ship that size and only say you have one to 200 people? Um, I, I, I'm in disbelief. I can't believe that the situational awareness of, the, the, of what was going on was, was that bad. I mean, uh, this was terrible. And to leave the vessel in that situation and not know if everybody is safely off is uh, it's delinquent. From one captain to another, is there like an oath or a vow that you take to stay with the vessel, stay with the ship, make sure everybody is okay in a situation like that? Well, as the captain of the vessel, you, your first priority is to, is to save the lives of the souls that are on board, whether that be your crew on a smaller ship that only carries 20 or you're on a ship that carries 4,000 people. Your priority is to save those people, then the vessel, and then the cargo. But always, always, the safety of life at sea comes first. And for the captain to leave like that, it's definitely a dereliction of his duties. And a man like that should never, ever have been in command. Uh, captain Chatino, he spoke to the Italian media about what caused the accident. Here's what he said. Even though we were sailing along the coast with the tourist navigation system, I believe that the rocks were not detected as the ship was not heading forward, but sideways, as if underwater there was this rock projection. So it sounds like he's blaming the ship's instruments, and you've seen the damage, you've, you've seen this video here, how close that boat is to shore. Uh, does, that, does that really ring true to you, his explanation? You, you can't blame the equipment when you deviate from your original course line. Um, he had a voyage plan that was laid out and set forth that he should have followed. His captain deviated from that and took the vessel in close to the, uh, to the beach. He even said on, on the news that he was within 300 meters of the, of the beach. The ship's about 290 meters long. He doesn't even have a safe turning radius for that vessel being that close. So to start blaming equipment, no, I, I, I find that, uh, again, dereliction of, of his it, duties. The Italy's Coast Guard, they located the black box from the ship. What could we learn from these uh, recorders? Well, these recorders are a, a black box that will have voice recording in the sailings. They'll take digital recordings off of all the equipment, so you'll have a date, a time, um, the, the helm orders that were being given, not only in voice commands, but you'll be able to see what the helmsman was doing as he was steering the vessel. Um, you'll also have any type of pertinent information from the engine. You'll be able to tell if there was a problem with the generation on, on board the generators, if there was a blackout or an electrical failure. You will be able to tell uh, from this, this black box, what we call a VDR, a voice data recorder, uh, the, the type of information that's on it that they can now use for the investigation. So there's quite a bit of information that will uh, be very detailed into his actions. And, and just finally, very quickly here, Captain, is there any possibility of survivors? We've been talking to folks who think that they could be in those cabins in air pockets. Is that still possible to find people alive? Well, there's always a possibility, and we only hope for that. Um, but you're going to have to know where these people were located, who they were, and where the cabins were, and that would tell you uh, on the percentage of possibility of uh, if they're alive.